Legacy Recordings Week in Music, June 30th through July 6th. June 30th, 1939, Frank Sinatra makes his singing debut with the Harry James Orchestra, performing at Baltimore's Hippodrome Theater. July 1st, 1979, Sony introduced the Walkman, the first portable audio cassette player. Over the next 30 years, over 385 million Walkmans have been sold in cassette, CD, mini disc, and digital file versions. July 2nd, 1988, Michael Jackson became the first artist to have five number one singles from one album when Dirty Diana went to the top of the U.S. charts. The other four number one singles from the Bad album were the title track, I Just Can't Stop Loving You, The Way You Make Me Feel, and Man in the Mirror. July 3, 1996, ACDC performed the second of two nights at Palau St. Jordi, Barcelona, Spain on their Ball Breaker World Tour. July 4, 1976, The Clash make their live debut supporting the Sex Pistols at the Black Swan, Sheffield, England. July 5, 1954, Elvis Presley working together for the first time in a recording studio with Scotty Moore and Bill Black begins fooling around and plays an obscure 1946 Arthur Crudup song, That's All Right, during a break. Producer Sam Phillips asked them to refine their unique interpretation of the song and then recorded it. That's All Right became Presley's first release on Sun Records. July 6, 2003. Beyonce featuring Jay-Z begins a three-week stay at number one on the UK singles chart with Crazy In Love. The track features a sample from the Chai Lights 1970, Are You My Woman, Tell Me So. The song also had an eight-week stint on the U.S. chart.